This video, I'm going to be breaking down a little four-man pressure concept out of the Nickel 3-3 Cubs. Super good. This specific defense, we're actually going to be showing this against the kind of patented Bunch Strong Nasty, one of the best offenses in the game. And I think Nickel 3-3 Cub provides a unique way to defend both Bunch Strong Nasty, Bunch Strong Offset, making it really easy for you. And you're going to have a really, really good blitz from this, good run defense, incredible RPO defense. So going to get into this kind of little mini breakdown for you. If you want to get my entire Nickel 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, we just dropped it over on our school.com community website. It's school.com slash Cody Ballard. Link's going to be in the description if you want to go sign up for that. For just $10, you'll be able to get access to all of our offensive and defensive ebooks for both Madden and for college football. Ball. So if you want to get access to all of that content, that stuff is going to be down in the description below. Nickel 3-3 Cub, what we're going to do real quick in our coaching adjustments is we're going to turn our auto flip defensive play call on. Our auto alignment is going to be on default. Our option defense is going to be on conservative. And then we are going to have all of these zone drops on default and our zone coverage is going to be set to match. The big tip here that I want you to do from a coverage perspective is make sure that you are in the FS1 inside package. This is going to allow you to get some different adjustments that's going to be very helpful for defending Bunch Strong. The play we're going to be basing out of here is the Tampa 2. And the setup for the Blitz is we are going to shift our defensive line away from our nickel corner. And we are going to crash our defensive line outside. From there, what we're able to do is create, craft and create a lot of really interesting coverages that are very effective specifically for Bunch Strong. What we're going to do is we're going to roll the coverage from left to right. So we're going to outside third, the corner that is on the solo side. We're going to middle third, the safety that is on the solo side. And we're going to outside third, the safety that is on the right. Last adjustment for fun is we are either going to, we're going to really do whatever we want with the right side linebacker. So even if you wanted to man up the outside bunch receiver to kind of prevent the bubble screen, you could do that as well. Really fun little defense here. And what you're going to see a lot of times, a lot of times the pressure is still going to come in, even though you're only sending four people. So the cool part about this is that you can actually get this blitz to work, whether they block a tight end or running back, which automatically makes this arguably the best blitz in the entire game. So if they block a, a tight end or a running back, sometimes this blitz will continue to come in right through that little B gap. It's kind of a glitchy blitz. It's super effective. If they block a running back, you know, you running back is probably the best way to pick this up. Um, but what you can do is if they block a running back, you can go ahead and send five and kind of try to hold the running back in the middle of the field. And as you can see, blocks running back, block tight end, completely works. Blitz is really good. So not only do you have a good blitz, which a lot of people thought blitzing was dead out of this formation, but you also, nickel through through cub has always been known as having probably the best coverage, best combination of coverage and run defense out of any comp defense that we've seen in the last four or five years. So super effective little play here, and it's going to stop the double corner. Let me explain how this is going to stop double corner for you or Durham or any of that stuff that you're going to see. So I'm going to audible to mesh flat spot, run the double corner setup. And what you're going to see here is because we're putting the safety at the top of the hood in an outside third as opposed to an outside half, he is going to take away that deep corner. And then that pressed cloud is going to do a really good job of taking away that outside corner. And then for good measure, we can even man this up. But what you're going to see here is that third. You see, I mean, there's just not only is there no time, but you see nobody is literally open over there on the right side. Now, another super popular play that people are going to want to run against you is they're going to run the Durham concept. And this actually does a pretty decent job against Durham because of the fact that we are utilizing some man coverage on the tight end. Uh, so we can man up the slime back on the tight end and because we have this vertical hook. So what you're going to see here is if they want to run the Durham setup, this is going to be pretty good because all you're going to have to do with your user is just take that slot post because you have everything else pretty much covered. This manned up drags pretty good, and then you're just going to basically kind of peel back to the post. All the while, they're going to get completely screamed at. Now, as I also said, I think this is one of the better ways to defend RPO type stuff in the game. And the reason why it's such a good defense against RPOs is because we have a significant numbers advantage to that right side of the screen. So even though we're blitzing five people or four people here, what you're going to see is if we take this linebacker and man him up on the tight end, really anybody, doesn't matter, just man him up on anybody on the right side of the screen, he is going to do a really good job of kind of getting out there and muddying up the RPO. And then you can just shoot the run underneath, and you see you also have the cloud flat out there for additional protection. 
this defense is probably the best bunch strong defense. We know bunch strong is probably the best bunch or the, the best offense in the entire game. So now you have a defense that can actually combat this really effectively. And there's some simple adjustments that we teach you in the ebooks to not only stop bunch strong, but also be able to stop literally every offense that you're going to be facing, as well as it's got great run defense, great pressure, great alignment. This defense is 100% back. If you want to get my entire defensive ebook, head down to the description and click the link down below to go sign up for our school.com community page.